Uh, yeah, sorry it's been a while. Um, welcome back, though. If you haven't caught any of our previous videos, I am talking to you from beautiful southern Sweden, uh, just an hour outside Malmö. And we are two years into the biggest building project we've ever undertaken. A massive music, arts and nutrition complex, all housed in a cluster of 100-year-old cow barns on the edge of a national park. Until now, we've focused on the renovation of the other buildings here, but now the time has come. We are finally ready to start construction of the recording studio, the jewel in the crown of this beautiful place. So one year ago, we left my old studio, which I had for 10 years in Berlin, which was very well loved and a great place. But this time, we're taking it up a big notch in terms of size, scale, and ambition. <laughs> I just felt like such a... F Not to mention the atmosphere. This whole place is going to be a buzzing, sustainable factory of creativity with beautiful accommodation, homegrown food, all nestled within the breathtaking, tranquil and inspiring surroundings. So, let's get started. Recording studios need planning, at least as far as the shape of rooms, soundproofing, workflow, wiring, ventilation, sight lines, storage, neighbours. I've built a few studios already, and I've also been to a lot of studios, so I have a pretty good idea of what works, or at least what I like in a studio. So I drew initial plans and uh, I made a few models. I actually made a scale model of this entire place out of balsa wood and even built the entire place in 3D on the computer. What a headache that was. But I'm not too into getting stuck on details early on. I kind of like to see how things evolve naturally, you know, depending on the materials available. And uh, I find that you often get inspired uh, and stumble upon better ways to do things as you go, you know? As long as you make sure you keep those basic planning considerations in your head, you'll be all right. So I won't go into too many details just yet, uh, just a general idea for now. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about studio design, then uh, I can recommend two books. Recording Studio Design by Philip Muir, a beautifully technical but slightly expensive option, and Home Recording Studio Build It Like the Pros by Rod Gervais, which provides a simpler guide covering everything you need to know. I really love old recording studios, and I'm a total fanatic for tracking as live as possible. So I've always loved big live rooms. My last place in Berlin was a pretty decent size, but this is gonna be a whole new level. Not quite as big as Studio 2 in Abbey Road, but kind of close actually. So we should even be able to record big orchestral sessions in there. In my opinion, the most magical experience for a producer or engineer is when you have a whole band playing live in the live room and you're sitting back listening to what's coming out of the speakers and it's kind of almost sounding like a finished record. So, the space. The studio will be constructed in one half of this enormous barn. At the far end of the barn, we'll have the main recording room, approximately 13 meters in length, nine and a half meters wide, with huge eight and a half meter high ceilings. Halfway down the barn will be a control room with an adjoining booth. Pretty much the same layout I had in Berlin, but that control room sometimes felt a bit crowded. So this one will be two meters bigger in both directions. Oh, and uh, big windows between the control room and the live room and the booth, so everyone can see what's going on. And double glass doors between the booth and the live room, so we can even roll the grand piano into the booth if we need to. Speaking of booths, um, one idea I have is for a big kind of baffle thing that can lower down from the ceiling in the live room, maybe operated by a winch or something. And uh, yeah, with some kind of swing out wall partitions, um, it would enable us to create an extra booth in the live room uh, or just deaden like one end of the live room. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And above the control room and the booth, um, well, I happened to get my hands on 18 cinema chairs from the 1940 cinema in the village. So that's going to be a perfect spot for enjoying concerts or film screenings or anything else that we have uh, open to the public in the studio. 
So that's basically just a taste of things to come. Uh, every step of the way, I'll go into more detail about each separate uh, part of the process. Um, next video is us doing the floor. So that's basically digging out all of that concrete, uh, insulating, pouring new concrete, laying cable conduit under the floor, planning out all the cabling and all that stuff. It went well, but you'll have to wait till the next video. In fact, we've done a lot already, but um, yeah, I'm trying to catch up with these videos. Hopefully it won't take me too long. If anyone fancies helping out with some videos who lives nearby, that could be amazing. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you very soon.